Properties can be attributed to whole models or to single geometries. In order to model how to create and sign properties, we will need to create an example model. Here we've created a vertical line to represent columns and made four copies of it in a square. Now let's create horizontal lines connecting them at the top to represent beams. In the work tree, they all exist as separate geometries. Let's merge them so we can manipulate them together. First, let's model how to create a definition which defines features that are applied to the whole model. Click New on the Property tab to open the definition editor. Click Model to choose the definition model. You can see the drop-down menus open several different options. Let's click Time Series and Constant. At the bottom of the editor, you can view the function plot. If we go back and choose Pulse, we can see how the function plot changes to show the new selection. Choosing Linear obviously will show a linear function plot. Let's rename the definition as Time Linear and click OK to create it. This will appear in the work tree. Now let's create a physical property. Click New Physical Property to open the editor. We're going to be making a beam, so let's change the name to reflect that. Clicking Edit Shader opens the Visual Material Editor where we can modify the colors used to identify the property. We can also create custom visibility options by checking the Custom Visibility Option box. We can also set point sizes as long as we make sure to check View Points. The preview will show what the geometry will look like. Clicking Model opens the drop-down menu that contains many different choices of properties. They are organized into Materials section and Special Purpose drop-down menus. Let's choose Elastic section. We want to create our elastic cross-section in 3D. Clicking Section Undefined reveals an ellipsis button. Clicking that opens the Beam Section Editor. Drop-down menus allow us to choose the database and section types. The choices are reflected in the model below. Clicking OK will confirm the choices and return us to the Property Editor. We can type in numbers to set the material properties of E and G. Once we've finished, we can click OK to confirm. There are several ways to assign properties to geometries. One way is to click Assign on the main toolbar, select the property, click OK, and then select the geometries, and then right-click to assign the property. We have chosen to assign the property to the horizontal beams. We'll open a menu. We can click Clone, which will clone the property. If we right-click the clone and click Edit, we can open the editor. Let's change the name to Column and edit the shader so we'll be able to easily see the new property when it's assigned. As you can see, cloning the property saves the values that were already entered. We can drag and drop the property to assign it to the geometries in our model. Let's drag and drop it to each vertical line. Now we've created beams and columns in our model which are easily identifiable by their different colors. Let's continue using this model to define element properties. Using the element property commands, we can define and apply element properties to the model. Right-click Element Properties Add from the work tree to open the editor. We'll create a beam column element, so let's name it Beam Column. We should then edit the shader so we can see it when we apply it to the model. Choosing different colors for each property and element makes them easy to see. To make our beam column element, let's click Model, Beam Column Element, and select Elastic Beam Column. We want it to be 3D and linear, then we'll click OK. Here is the element property view. As you can see, we have not assigned an element yet. Before assigning an element, it is important to select and unselect options in the Quick Access Toolbar. For example, if the Select All command is active, STKO will assign the property to all geometries in the selection. Activating just the command edges, STKO will assign it to the edges in the selection. Right-click the element and click Assign, then select the geometries. Elements must be assigned to geometries, otherwise they won't be written in the TLC file. They must also be compatible with the geometry, otherwise they will trigger a file error.